Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today I'm going to talk about certain people on YouTube who have certain prejudices, you know, how poor coping skills with certain things. Like, I've been on, been, like, for example, on YouTube, you're going to come across people who don't like dolls and action figures and puppets and whatever the case might be and if they see any of it in their videos in the videos regardless if you're reviewing it playing with it they will freak out and they will leave mean chant mean hateful video comments and personal messages wishing death on you all kinds of stupid stuff and then trying to claim that you're immature this is inappropriate Blah, blah, blah. I kid you not. It'll be like this. Dolls? Dolls and action figures on YouTube? That's inappropriate. That's immature. I don't like it. But there are not just the only people on YouTube who are, who have, can't, don't like certain things. If you think that people just freaking out over dolls and action figures, is bad. Try having people who complain about people having more than one account, regardless if they're a partner or a non-partner or whatever the case might be. These people apparently believe that their channel is ruined if they have if you make more than one account and subscribe to them. They think that it's bad, and they think you should only be you should only allow to have one account. But they got a double standard going where it's saying it's okay for them to have more than one account. And they try to find lame excuses for why they should be allowed to do the thing that you can't. Oh, I don't want to watch these videos. I don't want to see this channel. Oh, you made way too many channels and I'm offended. I'm not going to watch these videos. Yeah, there are idiots out there who they get upset over little small stupid things and they think you got the problem. And that's what they think. They go, oh, you're one of the problem. Yeah, especially after they left you racist, prejudice, offensive channel comments, video comments, and personal messages and, you know, whining, bitching, and moaning because you made more and more account. Now, a lot of people might say that this stuff comes with the territory. They might say, hey, when you put yourself out there, you're going to get people who don't like what you do. Well, yeah, that's to be expected. But what they don't tell you is you don't expect to get people sending you racist, predators, offensive channel comments, video comments, and personal messages. You know, people wishing death upon you, people slandering you. And people trying to false flag you for violating community guidelines that you're not violating. See, that's what people don't get. That's what people who don't use entertainment websites, like they don't use video sharing or social media, for example. People who don't use that sort of thing don't really quite understand that. Of course, they understand cyberbullying. Of course, they understand it. But they write it off as, they write it off as, that's, they write it off as it comes with the territory. According to them, that's what it comes with the territory. But in real life or in reality or offline, whatever terminology you want to use, there will be people who will do the same thing. You know, the only difference is that the people trying to do it in real life have to have the courage to come up to your face to do it. The people on the internet can be all brave because they can hide behind a laptop, a desktop, or a tablet, or a mobile phone. But if you, but there's a long, long list of people with immaturity problems all over various websites on the internet. And if you think that it's just people who, if you think it's just entertainment websites, like video sharing and social media that got 
to have problems with it. No, just normal everyday business websites you could come across jerks too. But anyway, of course, so that this video is not talking about the various bullying or cyberbullying types. This is just talking about the type, the two types of people that you encounter. Okay. And before I end this video, they're going to have the God to say that you're in the wrong, that you're inappropriate, that you're immature. Like, I kid you not, it would be like this. Oh, you're saying that I'm immature for sending you that racist, prejudice, offensive channel comment, video comment, or personal message. But you're immature for playing with dolls and action figures, what they'll say. Like, they'll try to say that you're in the wrong for doing your thing. To try to, you know, make a, like it's their lame attempt to try and counter your argument, but they're not really good at it. So that's about it. Before I go, Jordan said, and the people who do this sort of dumb thing with a, oh, you have more than one account that offends them and try to come up with stupid little reasons why that it, that it should be a privilege thing. Oh, you should only be allowed to make more than one account if you've been hacked, suspended, or terminated. So, yeah, that's about it. I'm Jordan. I'll see you later.